Hi Taurus, how are you? Welcome back to my channel, you guys. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Lynn and this is Passion and Heart Tarot. Thank you so much for clicking on my video, Taurus. So this is going to be your love reading for May and I send you all much love and light. I hope that you are staying safe and being careful. Please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Comment and share before I get into your reading, Taurus. I just want to take a moment to invite the white light of the Holy Spirit to bless your reading. All right, Taurus, let's take a look at what's going on around you guys now. I do like to spy a little bit and see, and then we'll ask Spirit to show us what energy is coming in for the month ahead, all right? Let's see the present. So Taurus, your energy is here, so you might even be dealing with another Taurus, but you're definitely showing up i wonder if you guys feel like you're going through a lot of emotion you know really having to make a decision about things and not really sure which direction to go in because i see a struggle as your overall energy of like your head's telling you one thing your heart's telling you another thing you're afraid to take a chance on this person and i know that it comes from a place of maybe they didn't catch you when you fell before because, you know, the fool is all about taking a chance, but it's with your heart. So it's like being in the, I know at one point in time, being in this energy of like, okay, my person is going to be there for me. I'm just going to fall and I know that they're going to catch me. I'm not going to get hurt. I'm going to be safe. It's like the circumstances have changed because, you know, there's a lot of questioning whether or not I'm safe here. Is my heart safe here? So to be fair, it could be how your person is feeling around you, Taurus. I can see that although there's a lot of questioning things and even a debate that's going on in someone's head if they should, you know, stop giving their heart to this person, the connection still stands. It's still there. And I know that this looks like a contradiction but on a spiritual level, I can see that it's still there, even if it's back and forth, back and forth like this. The timing of things is definitely at play here. So on a deeper level, although it might not make you feel any better, you are, you know, you're in a cycle of spiritual growth of learning that's why things you might feel like things have been really hard for you lately and that's why because you know when you go through these cycles it's to redirect you to another path that may be with or without your person and it's to fulfill things that you you know charted to learn in your life so it just shows how advanced you are spiritually and that you are ascending to uh, your higher selves. And that is not an easy metamorphosis. So just know that that is why like all of this energy is around you now. And I do see where for some of you, it might be getting the best of you because you just don't know what to think. You don't know how to feel. I see Capricorn's energy here as well. So you guys might have that in your chart or be dealing with someone that does there's a lot of emphasis here on marriage and someone either feeling like that's not what they're getting or they're like just questioning the stability of their marriage i know someone is like are we is it ever going to go to that point are we ever going to commit to each other on that level um, and it's also deep because for some of you, even if you aren't like officially married to this person on paper, I can see the level of your connection to one another. So it's like, a, what I want you to know is like the vow is still there. Even if it's just a vow that's in your heart, it's still there. I mean, what you're going through with this person now it's not easy and it might not always be so easy to understand, but these are the circumstances and 
it wouldn't have changed. Nothing that you could have done could have prevented this energy. That's what I want you to know. So for those of you who are like mad at yourselves for always giving into your heart when it comes to this person, and maybe you beat yourself up and think, well, if I would have done something differently, maybe it would have changed the outcome. It won't because, you know, this is about the divine timing of things. And it's something that you already plan to go through and experience. I say that to hopefully comfort you so you will stop internalizing things. You know, and thinking like if I would have done something differently, maybe, you know, my life would be different now. And but that's not what it is. So I do see um, a lot of emotion around you guys now and someone is not handling it all that well. So it's just important to look at the present now, because um, what this person keeps recalling is a time where they feel like their person did not catch them. Let them let them fall, you know, let them get hurt. Even if, um, you know, you were the one that hurt them, whoever, I'm speaking to whoever did that. I mean, that's why there's a lot of hesitation about this connection now. It's because they wonder it, how stable it is and they wonder if their heart is safe. All right, Taurus, let's ask Spirit to show us what is coming in for you guys. Let's see. gave guy um you know those things the calm thing that you can stuff with treats i gave it to him just before i started the reading hopefully to keep him busy for a while because he's running around here so all right taurus let's see what is coming I'm happy to see that someone's going to stop looking at the past so much. Bless you guys. They're going to stop looking at the past, which is beautiful because I think that's what's necessary. Because if like whoever it is, and I know that it's not easy because you're afraid to let your heart uh, be open again. But just know it's beautiful to break that cycle because if you keep looking at the past, I mean, what can you manifest into your life that's new? So because you are going to break that cycle, I mean, there's a lot of romantic energy that's coming in, whether it's the energy of someone new or it's like balance being uh, restored in your connection, you know, um, it's like the flirtiness, it's the fun of it all. But just know that in order to bring it in, someone is gonna have to stop looking at the past and what went wrong before. Because I mean, if if they remain in this energy of um, always feeling they need to look, they need to spy, they need to dig, they need to know what's going on because I'm not gonna let that happen to me again. What you do is like just create a direct blockage, you know? from this coming in. So I'm happy to see that there's a realization that's happening in that that's not healthy energy to be in because it's not serving you. It's not serving your relationship. It's not letting anything new come in if you want something new. So I love to see that that cycle, like that pattern of behavior is going to get broken. That's beautiful. I see a lot of investing being done here but it's not like the smooth it's not the smoothest of energy that you guys have around you because i see a longing you know a longing to receive more you might feel that way taurus like you're just you might feel like you're just in so deep with this person that so much time and energy has been put into this connection you know, it's like when all these vines start to grow and they wrap around each other, you know, you don't know where one ends and one begins. 
that's how you might feel about your life with this person. Like I'm invested in them so much. I wouldn't even know where to begin to release it. So I see you being in that energy of still longing, although it's, it's here. It's here, but you also have to be open to it to see it. And if you keep looking at what trying to prevent something from going wrong, if you keep looking at the past, you won't see that, you know, there is beautiful energy that's here. Because I see you um, throughout the month, you know, from time to time feeling like, am I going to get more? Because I feel like I put in so much Am I, is it going to blossom? Is it going to go where I want it to go? So a lot of this energy, you can, you can take yourself out of it. You can. I know that, yes, this person has to be accountable. But at the same time, it's also important for you to Think about yourself and your well-being and like these patterns that you could be in that don't help you, don't serve you at all. Because I can see it like, because you know, this person's looking so much, right, down at what they've invested in. It's like they're not looking up. You see, I want to turn these around because they're looking so much at, you know, all the time and energy and love that they've invested and they feel like this is all that they've reaped. This is the only reward, this one little measly, measly pentacle, right? But the problem about being in this energy is like you're not aligning yourself to receive. This person's concentrating so much looking down that if they would only look up, they would see this offer that's coming in. So I know that for some of you, um, you know, in this connection with this person, yes, you've had your ups and downs, and I certainly do understand why you would be so fixated on it like that. But just know that if you remain in that energy, you won't be able to see the efforts that are being made. Because I know you do want to see it. You do want to realize and feel these emotions with your person. And for those of you that are single, right, if you keep focusing on how you've received so little in the past, you might miss an opportunity that's right there, like, because you won't be aligned to receive it. You won't see it. That's what I can see around you guys. So there's like just a lot of messages on, on the importance of, you know, stop looking back. It's important to look forward. And when you start to look forward, you have a lot of beautiful energy, romantic energy that's coming in. I see where there's like a battle with someone, with someone's, um, maybe even their self-esteem. They might not show it because um, they just want to make sure that everything on the surface looks right. They want to make sure that they always come across as like confident and strong and have it all together. But inside, there's a lot of struggles here. A lot of it is just like longing, wanting so much more. So you don't want to miss it because it is coming in. That's what I want you to know, Taurus, is that it will be there. But there's just some things, um, some work that you might have to do with breaking cycles. You know, maybe even for some of you, it might not be easy, but I see someone swallowing their pride which is beautiful because, you know, too much pride, it just creates blockages because it creates like a blindness. Again, all going back to the same energy of being so fixated because I know that someone is like, I'm going to watch, I'm going to make sure because I'm not going to let this happen to me again. But, you know, being in that energy, it, it won't prevent it from happening and it will only hurt you because it blocks you from receiving. So... I see what's here and I see the pursuit. I see the genuine feelings of romance and emotion that someone wants to bring to you. It's just all about being open and aligned to receive it and, and not being too hard on yourself. That's some, like another major point that's here is because someone's like, I'm not going to be made a fool of again. So you're really being too hard on yourself, you know, for the human experiences that you've had. Don't um, hold yourself against anyone else and like compare. 
because you're your own person with your own life and your own story. So that's what I can see here. That's what I can see for you guys. I just want you to take care of yourselves, take care of your heart, be more forgiving of yourself because when you do, that's when you will see, I mean, that you do have beauty that's around you. And I know that someone is, like for those of you that are single, you have an offer that's coming in very romantic, very fun energy. It's someone who is looking for love. Do you see that? They're holding that cup. They're looking for love. And they're coming in to test the waters and see where it could go. So don't miss it looking too much at the past. And for those of you that are in this connection already with your person, same message to you don't spend too much time fixated on what's gone on in the past because you'll because it'll blind you to see the efforts that this person is making and i know i don't i don't underestimate what you guys have gone through and why you would be in this energy i know that you've gone through a lot with your person but i also know that this is where you want to be and since you do want to be here you will you know don't um Focus on the negative, focus on the healthy energy that's around you and the reasons why you want to stay in this connection because it because it will be what brings you happiness. All right, Taurus. So that is what I can see for you guys. I'm sorry about all the commotion back there with Guy. He's so silly. All right, you guys, I love you so much. Thank you for allowing me to do this reading for you. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I would really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, comment and share. Let me know what's going on with you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for everything and I will talk to you soon.